Well, picked up three boxes today. Shipped from Winnetka, California. And it's right from Tech Direct Club. Nissan Leaf battery modules. Extremely well packaged. Overpacked. Anyway, they're part of my project. And let's go have a look. So you can see, cutting boards I picked up from Walmart. Pretty heavy duty. Tightening up the pack. Well, that's kind of what it looks like. Slice and dice prep cutting board. Some uh, cap nuts or acorn nuts. Fender washers. Modules are basically like giant sardine cans with holes drilled in the four corners. Perfect for, like I said, a 5 16 wall thread or a ready rod. So here's how I'm going to configure them. And then the handles make it easier to move the battery packs around. So, all in all, a nice tight package. So, the next thing is I got some uh, solid copper bus bar. So I'm gonna lay it out and make some buses for the top. Anyway, that's for the next time. <laughs> well, time to cut some bus bar. Double check our measurements here. Okay. Right. in here make sure all right
What you don't want to do is use an open end wren like this. You run the risk of shorting out against the other bus bars, eh? So use a nut driver, or I'm going to use this speed drive here and just tighten them up one at a time, hand tight. So I'm also looking for a battery management system, but they're not that easy to find for these uh, multiple cell modules. And at 24 volt, they're also not that easy to find. Lots of 48 volt ones, but so I'll keep looking. And in the meantime, I'll balance them manually if I have to. So this will be the positive and this will be the negative bus. And then on the positive bus, I'll be putting a, an interrupt or breaker right here just to protect it. I'm doing a 80 amps for 24 volts, which is what my uh, uh, inverter will pull maximum. So that's what I'm gonna fuse it at or protect it at. Anyway, I picked these batteries up. Like I said, they're used Nissan Leaf modules, version one. And what's nice about these is you can bring them down to a depth of discharge at about 10% and they'll still function. Whereas lead acid batteries, you don't want to take them more than 50 or sometimes 60% to get more cycles of them. So anyway, we'll see. So that's what it looks like now. Like I said, I'm gonna mount the uh, interrupt or breaker right in here nice clean package carrying anyway that's it for now guys i'll uh see you next time